Hello, this is Master Peter Brousseau. Most people are not acquainted with the Hanbo, and therefore they don't even think that this could be a great self-defense weapon. The Hanbo is just a 36-inch piece of stick. It's a walking stick or even a cane, perhaps, but it has such incredible self-defense capability that you wouldn't even imagine. It is a fantastic double DVD series that I will take you through all that you need to know to become very proficient with a hombo. But personally, I have used it to defend myself and I can attest to you that it saved my life. If you travel out in the areas that are desolate or very remote, such as hiking trails, parks, etc., the police aren't going to get there in short order to help you should something arise, and therefore you need to have a technology that you can utilize to save your own life. That simple technology is a walking stick or a hombo. I will show you some very interesting things in this short video, a few techniques, and demonstrate the quality of the instructional DVD. I hope you enjoy this video. Hello, my name is Master Peter Brusso, and today we're going to learn about the Hanbo. The Hanbo is a 36-inch walking stick, very powerful. You'll get a chance to see some things that I bet you didn't think were possible with a stick this size. So let's get into the lessons. You can see there's just nothing very offensive about this particular posture, but lo and behold, if you needed to come out, you certainly can strike across the face, head, come back over and strike the head. So it's very important to look non-offensive, very important to look normal when you're working with the hombo, and we're going to start that right in the very beginning during class. This is the counter to the punch. Oh yeah, this great technique. I have shattered more cups with this technique. As they step in, you're in an inverted stance position and your hombo literally flies off the deck and contacts him in the groin. And if you miss it still hurts as it on the way in. You can obviously come back up and make a strike. There's a host of inverted strikes. There's a cross the head from the right, cross the head from the left. Go up the center like we did, down through the top, twelve o'clock positions and a ski attack. Now we're going to learn to move back and strike to the inside of the body. As the punch is coming in, we have two options. We're going to move back to the left or back to the right. In this case, we want to attack the inside of the body for a follow-up takedown. You'll see in a little bit here. It could be easy enough just to stall out the attack. You're striking to the solar plexus. This is just one of those great techniques. From a front choke, you're going to come up over the top, slam down on his forearms, breaking them, and pushing right back on his head or face, and away they go. So slamming down and pushing out. Very simple, extremely painful, very effective. You can see his head snaps back. You can just imagine what it's going to feel like to get struck in the face that way. Again, coming up over the top, you see I released the hombo to come up. I could have snagged him, hit him in the head then as well. It might mess up, though, on your entry onto those arms for maximum damage. But once you slam down on those arms like that, boom, right to the face, the nose, the forehead, whatever, and away they go. Also notice that Damien, my opponent here, is presenting some targets of opportunity. So I take it. Boom. Snap into that ankle. Break that ankle. They won't be coming back at you in the near future. Now what you're going to see is a combination you're going to get a two-handed grab on your hombo, one at the very end, one somewhere near the middle by your other hand. It's a common grab. You first attack the thumb, as we'd seen before, on the left hand, and now we'll move into 
a broken wing. You can see how easy all that really works. Again, move it in, get a hold of that thumb, watch your opponent weight shift by the pain. Now we're showing in again how to get a hold of that thumb nicely and pin it against the hombo. There's a weight shift forward from the pain. I'm going to go ahead and step in so I get more leverage on my broken wing attack coming down through the center of your opponent. Very powerful. We could have easily used wraps too if you needed to bonk them on the back of the hand or wrap them on the back of the hand to get a stick release. That would work as well. A lot of times at this point too, you may or may not let go. You could wrap them again, go ahead and continue to pin them. Here's a little close-up view. Again, going after that thumb, making the turn, keeping your hombo vertical, coming right down dead center to your opponent. Now here we're doing the same kind of motion with your hand sliding down the stick. We're stepping back to the right this time, striking to the outside of our opponent's body. Again, this is a setup for a follow-up takedown here you'll see in a little bit. Or it could obviously slow a person down, snapping that hombo in there by sliding your hands down the hombo. Now here is a moving back in a right or left at 45 degrees away from your opponent and striking down, attacking the weapons that are coming at you. You will obviously smash bones, forearms, etc. in this kind of a technique. Very nice. And it has follow-up capability as well. And this one here, we're moving to the inside, striking to the outside, and taking them down like so. In this case, you have to be extremely careful. The normal technique is when you take them down, you leave the stick along their spine. It breaks their back. In our technique, we're going to capture that arm and take them down. We're going to pull the hombo back out of there. Obviously, you see we're pinning them. Now, in slow motion... Get a chance to see a good recovery there, uh, all under check and movement. As the punch comes in, I'm stepping to the inside, striking to the outside, using my left hand to come up and capture his wrist. Insert the hombo across the back from the hip to the bicep. Pull and push. Remember to just pull your hombo back out of there. And I pin him in the throat, come in with a softening technique, where he stays down. And that's our second takedown with the hombo. You're going to come in with the infamous rear choke. Okay, you have to squat down. Can I talk? <clears throat> This is the infamous rear choke position. What we're going to do, this way. You want to go? That's what you're going to do. Okay? That's one of the many things. Go ahead and get another choke on the other side. Okay? Here's the motion. Find the head, pop away. All right? We're going to do several of these. First we did the elbow, then we did the head. Now we'll do another version. Here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video. It turned out to be not too short, but you saw a lot of great techniques. Um, purchasing the double DVD set is a good thing. I think you'll enjoy it. You'll learn a lot. And, of course, it's guaranteed. If you don't like it, send it back and you'll get your money back. I'm Master Peter Russo, and hopefully you'll purchase these DVDs and enjoy them, and they'll help to be another tool in your tool belt for your self-defense.